All right, rolling and rolling. Perfect, now we wait. I wonder, hang on. Hey, what's up, Danny? Hey, hey, Anthony. Yeah, um, I'm out here all set up to film Eric's in the bag, but I don't see him anywhere. Do you know where he is? Eric was here last week. Oh, he was? Oh, dang it. Well, I guess I'll just accept this as a complete waste of time and pack everything up. Is there nothing else you could film while you're out there? Well, funny you should ask. I've actually got my bag out here, but you know, I, I know that in the bags are kind of your department, so I don't really wanna, you know. Danny, did you set this whole thing up intentionally just to film you're in the bag? Maybe. Go ahead, I'll put it together for you. Just How's it going guys? I'm Danny Lindahl, and this is my early season 2020 in the bag. We'll start with the bag that I'm carrying. I'm carrying a Ranger bag this year. I really like the Ranger. It's my favorite bag that I've carried. I like the way it sits on your back. It's very lightweight and it has a ton of storage up top and it holds everything I need. I especially like this hyper blue color because I am a big fan of blue. As you can probably tell, all of my discs are blue and that's really, um, that's just cause I thought it would be fun. There's not really any deeper meaning or anything behind it. It's just, uh, I just like the color blue. So we'll start with putters. I put with, uh, this is kind of a teal, so it counts as blue. Uh, I put with Blend Wardens. These are both um, pretty close to max weight, 174. And I'm assuming 174 grams. Um, this one is actually moonshine, so it kind of glows in the dark. And really I use these interchangeably. It's kind of whichever one I'm feeling that day. Sometimes the, the green one's working out and sometimes the owl one's working out. It's just whichever one uh, I'm feeling better. The, uh, the beadless feel I really like, it gives me a clean release and I use the blend plastic because it's a little bit more durable than the classic plastic because it tends to absorb the bounces when it hits the ground uh, and I really like the grip of it, especially when it gets a little bit cooler, it stays nice and grippy in my hand and I don't have to worry about that chalky feel or anything slipping out early because I, I have a pretty direct spin putt. As far as other putters that are in my bag, I have a classic blend guard. I use this one for outside the circle because it's a little bit deeper, but it flies kind of a similar line to the Warden, just a little bit farther because it has a ton of glide. The guard has a five glide, so it stays in the air for a very long time. And so outside the circle, I don't have to throw it very hard. I can just put it up high and I know it'll carry straight forward into the basket. So moving on to mid ranges, for kind of approach style shots, I use a Prime Justice. I know a lot of our team players like the Justice in the Lucid plastic, and it's a lot more overstable in that plastic, but I like the Prime because I don't have to start it turned over on an Anheuser. On my, my forehand approaches especially, I'm not as consistent on that Anheuser release. I like to throw it flat or maybe a little bit of hyzer, and the Lucid Justice is so overstable that it tends to fade out a little bit early if I do that. So I like to use this one for just flat release or a little bit of hyzer approaches, especially in the wind. I know this one is gonna be very reliable in the wind, and that little bit of grippiness from the prime plastic really helps me get a consistent release. Um, oh, I do have another putter in here. This is a Moonshine Warden. This is my driving putter. It's got Eric Oakley and Tina Oakley's stamp on there. And this is a fantastic driving putter. The, the, in the Moonshine plastic, the Warden is just a little bit more overstable and it is nice and durable in that, in that premium plastic here. So I really like throwing the Moonshine Warden. It goes pretty far too, relative to some of the other putters that I've thrown. I tried to throw a guard as a driving putter for a little bit and it flies a really nice line. It just doesn't quite go as far as I like to throw my putters. So that's why I'm throwing the Moonshine Warden. Now we can move on to mid-ranges. I'll start with the least sable, and this is a Premac Truth, or just a truth. It's after we came out with the Emacs, but it's still just a truth. Um, and this is kind of my, my straight to understable mid. I like to start this one on hyzer and let it flip up and work to the right. Uh, I really like it for tunnel shots. I can start it on even more hyzer, and then it'll just fly straight. It's a very workable mid-range. I'm actually, when the bounty comes out in 2020, that one might sort of compete with the truth for this shot, but I really like the feel of the truth. So it's gonna be pretty hard to kick this one out of my bag. I really like the truth for those kind of turnover shots. And I don't really have a mid range that's less stable than the truth because I tend to throw a lot of forehands in that range. I'm really comfortable with my forehands out to my mid range distance, which is around 330 or so. And so I tend to not have something that's super understable in the mid range category, because if I need to fit that shot, I'll probably just throw a forehand and that's gonna be a little bit more 
consistent for me. So stepping up from the truth, I have a Biofusion Verdict here. And this is a disc that I didn't really expect to like as much as I did. Uh, I usually like Verdicts that are very overstable so you can throw them flat and have that reliable fade. But I was throwing Emacs for a long time, Emac Truths, and they, they fly really nice and they have that nice hyzer flip, but they have a lot of glide and that kind of in the open makes, makes it a little bit harder for me to control the distance. I had a, a lot of times I would go farther than I intended just because the Emac likes to go really far. So the Verdict in the Biofusion plastic, if it's a little bit beat in, kind of flies a similar line where it'll flip up to flat, or if you throw it flat, it'll work right and finish straight. It just doesn't quite go as far as the Emac and it has a little bit more dependable fade. So I really like the Biofusion Verdict. This is becoming one of my favorite discs in my bag. Moving on from that, the most overstable mid-range that I have, well, barring the Prime Justice, is a Moonshine Verdict. The Verdict in the Moonshine plastic is the most overstable Verdict that I've thrown. It's got a good dome on it. I can be confident that I can throw this disc flat and hard and it's gonna go straight for a very long time and then have that dependable fade. I trust this disc in headwinds. This is a fantastic overstable mid-range. If you want a Verdict that you can be confident in, no matter how hard you're throwing it, you're gonna really like the Moonshine Verdict. So moving up to fairway drivers, my understable fairway driver is a Zach Melton Lucidex Maverick. This one I've had for a little bit, it's starting to get a little bit seasoned to where it flies about the same as like a Lucid Maverick. It's got some good turn, it'll flip up to flat, or if I throw it on a little bit less hyzer, I can work it to the right. I really like this disc in the woods, it's very workable. I can control the angle that it finishes on with the angle that I throw it on, and it scales really well with power. If you play in the woods and you need a very workable backhand disc, the Maverick is an excellent choice, and you get to support Zach if you pick it up in the Lucid X plastic. And the next fairway driver I have in my bag is the Lucid Vandal. And this is a disc that I really wanted to like as a roller disc when it first came out. But the prototypes that we got for being on the team and uh, some of the earlier the Trilogy Challenge runs were pretty stable. And so I wasn't able to get them down as easily. But when I played in my Trilogy Challenge and I was able to get one in this, this Lucid plastic here, uh, blue Lucid plastic, this one is actually a little bit less stable. And now that I've been throwing it a little bit more, it's, it's gotten worked into the point where it's a pretty easy roller. I can throw it just on a little bit of Anheuser and control the angle when it hits the ground and it's going to go very very straight and then have a late flip at the end which I really like that lets me get a little bit of extra distance and trust that straight line out of the roller without thinking that it's going to fade out to the left this is also another fantastic disc to have in the woods I think the Vandal kind of flies a similar line to the Maverick where it has that scalable turn and it's really easy to work in the woods the Vandal's just a little bit faster so I like it for a little bit longer shots than the Maverick so now moving on to my favorite disc that is the Dynamic Discs Getaway I have three in my bag in the Fusion, the Lucid, and the Lucid X Plastic, and this Fusion Getaway is one of the first Fusion Getaways that I ever got. The Fusion Getaway is kind of the straightest flyer, whereas the Biofusion tends to be a little bit understable, and the Lucid tends to be a little bit more overstable. The Fusion is right at the sweet spot. This one is pretty beat up, I've had it for a while, and it has a nice hyzer flip line, or if I throw it flat, it'll work to the right, but it never really dives over, because it has so much glide, it likes to stay in the air and get that straight finish. This is another fantastic disc for in the woods, especially for hyzer flips, and it's this disc goes seriously far. Uh, the next stability of getaway that I have is this Sparkle Lucid. Um, this was kind of blurple. It's kind of a blue and a purple with some sparkles in there. This is a really pretty disc. And this Lucid getaway is a very straight flyer as well, just a little bit more stable than the Fusion. It'll flip up to flat and then it'll fade. I really like this disc for more open shots where I'm trying to get mostly a straight flight, but I definitely don't want to get any action to the right. I'm going to start it on a hyzer, let it flip up to flat, and then control that fade. And I really like this disc for uh, like out, shots that you throw out at Jones East because I can start them on a hyzer and I know it's not going to flip all the way over. And then the most overstable getaway is the Lucid X. This is Paige Bierke's signature and I really like this disc. This is a, a getaway that almost flies like a felon, just a little bit longer and it's a little bit more comfortable for my backhand. This is overstable out of the hand, it's not going to turn and it's going to go very very straight with a strong fade at the end. I like this disc for anything that's wide open and inside of 350 feet. I'm probably going to trust this disc to keep me next to the basket. I'm just going to throw it flat out to the right side and let it carry forward and fade. Then I've got two other fairway drivers in my bag and they are both Lucid X Felons. I really like the Lucid X Felon. Eric Oakley made a great choice in choosing this to be his Lucid X disc. This one is the Moonshine Lucid X Felon that I've had in my bag for about six months or so since about GBO. And this one is a little bit beat up to where it's it flies a little bit straighter, but that's still a felon. Thrown flat is gonna hold the flat angle and then it's still gonna have that strong fade. It just fades a little bit later than uh, like a new Lucid X felon. So this is a very controllable and a very workable disc. I really like this one for my forehand because a new Lucid X felon is a little bit too overstable for me to really get any distance out of. This one carries a little bit farther before fading. 
And then this is a new Lucid X Felon Eric Oakley signature on there. This one is very pretty. It's super pearly and this one is beefy. This is a disc that I reach for when I absolutely need to get left immediately and I don't want to ask any questions about it. This is a very overstable fairway driver. I really like this disc. This is the disc that I'll use for grenades if I throw those. Which I don't throw them too often, but when I pull them out of the bag, this is the disc that I use it for. I like to throw this one for spike hyzers and forehands, like flex shots, anything like that. If I need to fight the wind, I'm going to be grabbing this Lucid X Felon. All right, and that's about it for fairway drivers. Let's jump up to distance drivers, and I'm going to kind of go to the most overstable distance driver. That is a Sparkle Lucid Defender. This one is very overstable. This is my headwind driver when I need to make sure that nothing flips and I need to throw it flat and very hard. This is the disc that I reach for. I really like this disc. It doesn't really go as far as some of my other distance drivers because they're all Raiders and they have just a little bit more turn and a little bit more glide, but this Defender is almost angrily overstable. Like when I throw it, I imagine that it hates something on the ground and it just dives into the ground right away. Um, this is a very good disc to have, but it doesn't always come out of the bag except if it's windy here in Kansas. Now the rest of my discs are all Raiders. I have four Raiders in the bag. The first one here is a Fusion Raider. This is one of the bar stamps that came out with uh, Team Trilogy, and this one is very understable. I can start this one on a hyzer, let it flip up, work to the right, and it's gonna finish straight. It's, this is my bomber. If I'm trying to throw a disc as far as I can, this is the disc that I'm gonna reach for because it's got that turn and it's gonna go far. And that's both backhand and forehand. I can't quite get like a Lucid Raider or a new Fusion Raider up to speed forehand to see any turn or any glide, but this one, because it's so beat up, I can get some big distance out of this one forehand. I really like it for that shot. Next, I also have another Fusion Raider here. This one was dyed by my buddy Aaron down in Texas, and this is just pretty much a stock Fusion Raider. This is a, a slightly more controllable, slightly more accurate flight than that the, the more beat up one, but it's and it still goes very, very far. So on a hyzer release, it'll kind of flip up to flat, work right a little bit, and then fade. If I'm trying to throw a hyzer flip as far as I can, I'm probably going to throw this one. So I can start it on a little bit of a hyzer, let it flip up, and then carry nice and straight, maybe a little bit to the right, and then fade. Um, I know it's not going to flip all the way over unless I throw it flat. If I'm trying to throw something that works right the whole way and then just has a slight straight finish at the end, then I'm gonna throw this disc flat. But for the most part, I like to start this one on hyzer and maybe use it for more of those distance shots if I have a little bit of a headwind where the, fusion, the other Fusion Raider is gonna flip over a little bit too much. Next, I have two Lucid Raiders. This one I've had since Glass Blown Open, and this one is kind of like a Lucid Getaway, but a little bit faster. I think that's pretty accurate for the, the Raider in general. It's similar to the Getaway, just a little bit faster, and it goes a little bit farther. These are not super domey, but I wouldn't call them particularly flat top, and this is a, a very straight flyer. I can start it on a hyzer, it'll flip up to flat, and then have that gentle fade at the end, and I know it's not gonna flip over to the right. This one goes very, very far, not quite as far as a Fusion, but this is a very accurate disc to have, especially on the long courses we play out here, like Country Club or something like that. I'm gonna make sure that I have this disc in my bag. And then my last Lucid Raider is this one right here. This one has a good bit more dome than any of the others, and this one is very overstable. This one is almost as overstable as like a new Lucid Defender, but not quite. This one has a little bit of a glow in the plastic too. When I, when I shut off the lights, I can definitely see a little bit of glow out of this one, and this one is very overstable. I can throw it flat, and it's not gonna work right at all. It's just gonna carry straight and then fade. I can start it on a little bit of a turn, and it's gonna like make me think it's gonna work right, and then no, it's just gonna fade. And if I start it on hyzer, it's just gonna fade. So this is a very overstable disc, a very good disc to have, and it still goes very, very far. It's, it's not angrily overstable like that Sparkle Defender is, but it is, it's a good disc to have in the headwind, because I know that if I throw it flat, it might work right a little bit, but I'm not gonna lose it. It's not gonna flip over too much so then it carries too far to the right. So that's it for discs. As far as other things that I have in my bag, my marker is a Junior Emac Truth. I really like the Junior disc because in the fairways, it's a little bit easier to see than a mini disc, and so I can be a little bit more confident when I'm planting. And then besides that, up top here, I've got some towels and I've got a golden retriever and uh, some snacks, stuff like that. That's, um, that's about it. That's all I carry in my, in my bag. Thanks for watching.